be more obvious if we had a synthesizer that had more keys. Since this has limited key count, it's harder to sense the difference in the filter. But let's turn it all the way up, and why? Because turning it all the way up, you'll see this one here. That means it's a one-to-one -one relationship, which means the, the keyboard is sending voltages that match the frequencies of the keyboard, which is to say you can play the filter cutoff like a keyboard, and when you have the emphasis all the way up and you have it self-oscillating, that means you can play the sine wave that exists. In, that is generated in the self-oscillation. And if you tune it using the filter cutoff slider uh, to the frequency that your oscillators are set to, then you have the ability to have a sine wave generator happening. You can even turn off uh, your oscillators and just play that sine wave. Sounds like our tracking isn't exact, but you can set it up so it is. Anyway, uh, so yep, you have another sort of pseudo oscillator as is frequently the case in synthesizers from this era, which helps you create some interesting sounds. All right, so that is our keyboard track. And lastly, we have the amount, which we've already heard accidentally because I was ignorant. All right. We haven't talked about the envelope yet, the contour generator, but we will uh, after this. Uh, but we're just about to use it, so you're gonna get a preview. Uh, we set the, whatever the envelope is set to, it's going to affect both the amp and the filter once you have the amount up. Oh, and it also affects the sync when you have it set to contoured. And this is where we get to our more standard 70s synth sounds, or early 80s, I guess, in this case. Uh, people often talk about the Rogue being a bass synth, uh, I guess. But uh, yeah, so this is where you can, you know, by having the filter down in the dark places, you can get some decent bass sounds. But of course, emphasis, the resonance in this filter does remove bass frequencies as I'll demonstrate right now. We have a much bigger bass sound without any emphasis. nice the filter is.
Let's try just one oscillator. Some of the bass, the best basses in history were a single oscillator. Even like when using the Mini Moog, having a single oscillator on the Mini Moog creates the greatest basses because you don't have uh, the beating happening, which is robbing frequencies from you and changing the timbre. Slider static, Bob was right. All right. That sounds great. The filter on the Mogro. Road. <laughs> 